Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be learning how you can accept more than one variables from the prompt. Let's say besides the age of the person I am also interested in getting the title of this individual. So I would like to ask the person to first enter their title then enter their age. So I've declared a variable called title and I've initialized it to nothing. Then I'm going to be giving him the prompt and um, the enter statement. Now notice in the enter statement since I'm accepting a string value I could actually be using next line versus next int. Next int is for integer, next line is for a string. Now just like I was displaying before the age, now I'm going to go about displaying title is and I could be displaying the title of the person. So as I run this program you will notice the first thing it'll going to ask me is to enter the title of the person and next it asks me to enter the age of the person and then it tells me the title is this and the age is this however there is a pitfall here that you got to be careful about if I switch the acceptance if I move these two lines right past the age then you run into one logical error which I'm going to be showing you in just a minute when I run this now I enter the age of the person and at the moment I press enter it jumps directly to the output and says the age is 34 and title is nothing it never asks me to enter the title the reason is whenever you press an enter key it actually goes in the buffer as a value if the next input is a string then what it assumes it it puts the enter key as a value for the next string so the titles value is actually an enter key and since enter key is not equable on the screen this way you did not get to see any output however it's quite evident from here you notice it says title is and it automatically made age is jump to the next line okay now Besides this, if you would like to fix this, all you need to do is you need to have an empty input dot. You need to have an empty input dot next line. What this will going to do is it will going to absorb that extra entry key that's been pressed. So the moment I play this now, it will going to ask me for the age of the person. The moment I press enter, it will going to ask me for the title. And then when the moment I press enter, it will going to go give me both outputs back. So the pitfall was if you have a string being accepted right after any other form of input, then make sure you have input.next line in between to absorb the enter key. So that does not become the input for the next string in line. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.